Hey guys, what's up? It's White Claw Wednesday again, and I'm going to show you a couple pit of I'm going to show you our world's first, and first I'm going to tell you guys to subscribe to our channel because I was looking at analytics and it looks like about nearly 50% of people who watch our channel are not subscribed. So you guys better subscribe because you're not going to see this sick ass content that we're going to put out if you don't. So first things first. Wednesday. Mango's not my favorite, but you know, I live in Idaho. And uh, sometimes you don't get what you want. Okay. I'll just show you these rattly little guys. These are from the one and only Jason Nelson at NV Reptiles. If you've gotten a really cool Pitoophis from somebody, He's probably the guy I came from. So, I'm going to show you these really quickly, individually. And I'm going to cheat here because there's so many genes involved. You just can't. Yeah, I can't memorize them all. Okay, this is the male. Hypo. Het albino. Het patternless. Het azanthic. And possible het white-sided. This is probably the nicest one. Look at that head. Zoom in on that head and see the purple coming through into the yellow. It's insane. Even Jason himself said this was a potential. If it was a female, he would have held it back. And then look at this tail. If that's not purple or brownish purple, I don't know what you'd call it. It's pretty cool. Because this is not the type of uh, thing that we're typically typically into. Um, big bull snakes and stuff. I've never had a big bull. Um, I've, I've definitely wanted to keep them, but this is definitely something new. Where you hatch something out in 2020, and it's 15 inches long and eating fuzzies already. It's pretty sweet. So, let's go to the females. I'm going to show you guys... Oh, we got an escapee. <laughs> yeah, live action. Okay, that one. Can just chill for a second. This is an albino bull snake. Definitely moving around. Let's just highlight this animal a little bit better. Look at the purples on that tail. On that rattling tail and the female is albino het azanthic het patternless het hypo possible het white sided but what's kind of interesting is that she's missing these scales on her head and if any of you guys know how the scaleless ball python project started it was from scaleless head so Definitely going to work on that, see if anything comes about. I'm not promising anything, but it could be cool. And then, the other female. Just, guys, I can't tell you how super hyped I am on this trio. This is patternless, white-sided. Let me grab the, uh, the lid. forgot. It's on their label on the cage, but patternless white-sided het, azanthic, and het albino. I don't know which one is my favorite, to be honest. I feel like the hypo probably takes it, the male, but damned if that isn't a cool trio of bull snakes. So, thanks Jason. You are killing it in the pit of this world. Look at that. It's almost like pied. That's what's cool about white-sided. It's almost, it's like a pied-sided corn snake. Super cool. Can't beat that. Look at the head, too. Like, that's why I say that. And those demonic black eyes. Incredible. Incredible. Just like the word I said 50,000 times in the last White Claw Wednesday. All right, so. The next, and I think final, right? Final order order of business. 
aside from taking this drink. White Claw, you can sponsor us at any time, is to show you this world's first. So, this is a Mullendorf rat snake. This is an old world rat snake. And it is not very commonly kept for obvious reasons. It's not super friendly or docile, but man, they're beautiful. So they have a red head, they have a green body, they've got saddles, and they've got a red tail. They're amazing. They're super hissy. They like to they like to jump out at you and sometimes bite and they get big. They can be sometimes eight feet long. And they like cool temperatures. But what makes this a world's first is that this this unfortunately, if you guys look back a few videos, um we posted uh, that six egg six egg clutch of perfect Mullendorf's rat snake eggs, and unfortunately, this is the only one that hatched. But I found out we were we are the only ones so far who have ever hatched a clutch or a single baby from aberrant to aberrant or aberrant to aberrant or aberrant to aberrant if you prefer but so the way that I'm thinking of this is um, in talking to other breeders they say that when you breed an aberrant to you know watch him bite me watch her bite me I should say um, when you breed aberrant to normal you get some weird looking babies that don't look normal and so that tells me it might be incomplete dominant, which means that this could be a super aberrant, and that makes it even more of a world's first. So I uh, dug up the picture today of this snake's mother that was born in 2014, and she doesn't look a whole lot like this baby. Um, she's definitely aberrant, but this snake is way closer to patternless than its mother and the head it has this green snout and stuff that, that the mom does not have but what's most notable of all is that the tail is almost absent of red that's one of the trademarks of Mullendorf's rat snakes other than their attitude is the red tail and that this snake is almost devoid of that. Um, so we were really lucky. We got a female. I have a pair of adults. They're both aberrant. Uh, that's, those were the parents to this animal here. And luckily we got a female. Um, unfortunately she has a little tiny kink right here in front of her tail. I'm sure it's pretty evident. But I don't think that's going to be an issue um, if we're able to breed her. But the the final thing that the little take home message is the color on this thing it's lime green the adult female when she was a baby the mother she was a, a forest green this thing is mint green completely different in appearance and uh, so if you ask me I think it might be a super form might be incomplete dominant to incomplete dominant and this could be a super form um, I don't know it's gonna take some some more breeding to see uh, definitely want to get into some other morphs there's hypo there are alleged other morphs out there that I'm not at liberty to, at liberty to discuss but anyway uh, this is our first world's first I've been wanting to produce one for I don't know as long as I've been keeping reptiles which is a lot of years. 10 plus. Um, let's see if we can get her. No, no, no. She's actually being super chill. My adults, I handle them like they're hots. Like, I use hooks and they're feisty. They're like real, real cool temperatures. You can't get these guys above 80 degrees 
it's not advised but the beauty of this animal is kind of unsurpassed the thing's ridiculous that mint green color with the rusty red head it's awesome so anyway guys like I said originally please subscribe I'm trying to hit like 500 by the end of the year so let's do that and we'll see y'all later bye